In this short video we will look at the UEC Alltech 4121RV, PVR Ready Decoder, and the Digitech Satellite Finder. First the decoder. What's in the box? Apart from the decoder itself, and the remote control, the package includes a pair of batteries for the remote, a 240 volt power supply, a 12 volt cigarette lighter type power cord, a set of AV cables and a set of composite video cables for connection to the TV. From time to time a HDMI cable may be included as a bonus. The front panel of the decoder is much like many set-top boxes which most of you would have had in the early days of digital television. With buttons for volume, channel, menu, OK and reset all functions and operations are described in detail in the included handbook. The remote control is a new version as of 2017 and is very similar to most Freeview Type TV remotes in use today. The rear panel has all the usual connections for dish antenna and power in, audio, video, optical audio and composite video, plus HDMI, out. The RS-232 port is for workshop use only, and the internet port is currently not used. The USB port can be used for software upgrades, or as a port for the PVR function. An external hard drive can be connected to this, or, more simply, a USB stick is shown here. You must use a high-quality USB stick capable of sustained high-speed data transfer. A hard drive must be dedicated for this, and has to be formatted by the decoder before first use. Full functionality of the PVR is explained in the separate handbook. In addition to the handbooks the decoder includes a warranty registration form, and a VAST registration form. VAST registration is most simply done online at mysatdv.com.au, and click on the link for traveler's registration. The smart card number is found on a label on the bottom of the decoder. We suggest you record this somewhere so as not to have to remove the decoder, from wherever you mount it, if you need the number again. Please note that traveler registrations have to be renewed every six months, one month in advance, at a renewals page. Alternatively you can register, or renew by telephone on the call center phone number 1-300-993-376. That concludes our look at the decoder and now we will examine the Digitech Satellite Finder. This Digitech product is one of the best sat finders on the market, and has advanced features including being powered from the decoder via the coaxial cable, not requiring batteries when aligning the dish. The unit also has a built-in calculator for the dish settings needed, we will look at that at the end of this review. Included in the box with the SAT finder, is a mains power supply and a battery holder power supply, either of these can be used, if you need to power it up, or use it away from the decoder, most often not needed by caravanners. A detailed small handbook is included, and a cable joiner, this can be used to join the fly lead to the main cable instead of changing them over after aligning the dish. We would recommend that you don't use this joiner if there is any risk of the joint lying on wet ground in inclement weather. Powering up the unit we first see a menu screen. The only items we are interested in are the top and bottom of the list. Top of the list is Find Satellite. This is preset for the Optus C1 satellite and brings up this screen. The only change you can make here is to turn on or off the buzzer function. We highly recommend you leave this on as it provides a very distinct sound when enough quality signal is found for the decoder to lock onto. The two signal bars show signal strength and signal quality, we can see here that there is some signal strength with no antenna connected, this is electrical noise, and is the reason why a signal strength only meter is inadequate for aligning your dish. We will look at this function fully in our video on aligning the dish, and setting up the system. The other menu item you may need, is the bottom one from the main menu, Calculate Angle. Select this and you have a screen, to enter the required information. While there are several websites and apps to do this, if you have no smartphone, computer, or network access this presents a simple solution without working out the figures from charts or maps. We talk about these in our setup video. Entry of figures, is done simply from the up, down, right, and left buttons. On this screen you first have to enter the longitude of the satellite, for the Optus C1 it is 156 degrees east. Next find your own longitude and latitude, usually from your GPS, or from any good map, the nearest degree or half a degree is adequate. 
Then your longitude which defaults is east. Then enter your latitude which you will need to change from north to south. You will see the bottom of the screen showing various figures as you progress. After the last entry the bottom three lines are the figures you need. We verify these against the smartphone app, and they almost exactly agree. Our later video explains what these figures are. Thank you for watching, and please check out our other videos in this series. For further information, and pricing of the free-range camping satellite TV package please see our website.